Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, it doesn't work without you guys. So let's get open for business here. And let's wake up the football gods. Wake up here, guys. And welcome to Game Day Coffee, because it's, well, it's game day. We've been waiting all week, all week for game day. It's the Dallas Cowboys against the Doodoo Browns. And I hope that we can get ourselves on track. Now, it's great because, you know, it's Sunday. We've been looking forward to this. This is week number four of proving that you belong as one of those teams at the end of the year fighting for that Super Bowl. And I'm hoping that today the Dallas Cowboys get on track. Now, it's crazy because... We better be thankful for every week because we don't know that we're going to get all 16 weeks uh, or 16 games of each player or 18 weeks, which it may possibly be. The NFL dealing with the COVID issue. We already know that Cam Newton tested positive yesterday as well as the uh, practice squad quarterback for Kansas City. Now we're hearing that a player in New Orleans, has undisclosed player, has tested positive for COVID. And, of course, we know about the Tennessee Titans. The NFL, to their credit, have done a pretty good job at keeping everybody safe. And we may have been lulled into a sense of security the first three weeks of the season, figuring they got this beat. It doesn't exist. But see, COVID said, hey, come here. I ain't going nowhere. And it's reared its head. Now, the NFL is talking about doing a couple of different things. They've increased daily to daily testing now with the players again. Uh, they're considering a proposal that they had during the summer of the players basically being in a team bubble at their facilities with you know, them staying at a hotel together. And they're also looking at expanding the season. They, they put in, to the NFL's credit, they did a couple of things that made it easier that if they do lose games that they can make it up. They're talking about extending the season to 18 weeks so that way they have an extra week to get take care of games that were missed and so on. You know, they can do some of the stuff where, you know, we'll use the bye week and things like that. And you'll notice that our Cowboys, that we have three games in our division. And they deem games in your division the most important ones to help determine the outcome of each individual division. <laughs> and quite frankly, I'm glad about that because we usually own our division. And you look at our teams in our division, those might be the easiest games that we have all season. So for the Cowboys, it's important to play those those definite games in the division. Um, so hopefully the Cowboys can get on track again today and, you know, get through. It's hard enough dealing with injuries. And, you know, we found out last night that Lyle Collins will be having hip surgery on Wednesday. Um, he had a lot of pain in there, apparently, and he was – going to try and play through it, but they deemed it better to get surgery on it and just pack it in till next year. Uh, Tyron Smith, of course, has the next stingers. We'll see how that holds up today. Looks like he's going to play. And uh, Diggs is also has a shoulder issue. He's going to be playing. So this may be the healthiest we've been in several weeks going into this game. Um, and we, by all right, have no... Um, right to complain about injuries because injuries are across the board and some teams it's 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 devastating i almost feel bad for my man philly 500 and his eagles because it seems like every other day they lose a key player and right now jason peters for them is going on ir uh, literally they had one on the 53 man roster one wide receiver period period so you know when they talk about Carson Wentz last year threw the lawn furniture. I don't even know if they got lawn furniture to put out there for them. But that's the Eagles dumpster fire problem. But today, 1 o'clock, the Cowboys take on the Browns. Again, I'm still mystified that Fox does not have a 1 o'clock game um, in, in most of the country. And it seems like this is the chance for football to be spread. You, you should have two games on every you know, slot, 1 o'clock, there should be two games. 4 o'clock, there should be two games. Sunday night. This is your opportunity to really create new fans because of COVID. There's not a lot of great programming out there. There's not a lot of new shows out there. The fall season doesn't exist. 
So you put out football and you get people to create new habits and watching. And that's where you have a one o'clock game. But we'll be live streaming. We will keep you up to date on what's going on with our Dallas Cowboys, as well as we'll be looking at the Washington, the Washington, the Washington, uh, the, the team in Washington. We'll keep up with their game as well. So we'll give you updates on them. And then we'll roll right into the New York stinking Giants. Um, th- that that game, and we'll probably be going all the way through to the Philadelphia Eagles and that dumpster fire today. So it'll be a full day of football. Now, for our Cowboys, here's a chance now for the Dallas Cowboys to get on track, okay? You know, we had a lot of people are saying the Cowboys should be 0-3, or, and I say, you know what, we got robbed against – um the Rams, that penalty in the end was some bull. It all kind of evens out. But as Bill Parcell says, you are what your record says you are. And we're one and two. And hopefully by the end of today, we'll be two and two and then facing three games in a row in our division. Um, And that's where you want to be. doesn't matter who you beat as long as you get enough wins to be part of that group of teams that are fighting for a chance to go to the Super Bowl. And that starts today. Now, for the Cleveland Browns, their offense is the polar opposite of the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys have been hurry up, quick strike, score a lot of points offense. The Cleveland Doo-Doo Browns, well, Nick Chubb is the reason why they are 2-1. and At that and playing Washington as well as uh, Cincinnati. Um, They they, kind of got destroyed by Baltimore 35-6, but we'll, we'll leave that there. But they are truly now a running team, regardless of having the much-hyped Baker Mayfield. They're averaging about 26 passes per game. The Cowboys are almost doubling that at 47.7 passes per game. For the Cowboys, the best thing you can do is jump out to an early lead and basically take Nick Chubb out of the equation. Make them one-dimensional. Make them have to pass the ball. Let the defensive line pin their ears back and go after Baker Mayfield. Now, on the flip side, um, Claiborne is out on their defense, and the, the Cleveland Browns are a bit nicked up uh, as opposed to, you know, some of the teams, I mean, as opposed to the Cowboys. We're actually getting some people back. Um, they are nicked up, and uh, Claiborne, you'll remember famously, who was uh, – with the Atlanta Falcons and had that incredible performance that made a name for himself when Tyron Smith was out. He's out. Tyron Smith is in. So hopefully that's a better thing for our Cowboys. The offensive line, of course, for us will be shuffling around where I, we believe Terrence Steele will be starting at the tackle, although that may change up. We know that Joe Looney is going back to center. We know that uh, Connor Williams is still at guard. Zach Martin is at guard. And, of course, Tyron Smith will be at his usual tackle position. So that's where we are with the offensive line. Um, The Browns do have weapons. They do have Odell um, out there. And Odell has been kind of negated by this offense. You may look for the Cleveland Browns to try and exploit the Dallas Cowboys secondary and really get um, Odell Beckham going early into this game and try and get some momentum for the Cleveland Browns. But I'm going to look at this one, and I think the Dallas Cowboys get on track. I say 31 to 10. I know that's crazy. 31 to 10. I think the Dallas Cowboys get this one and get on track and start to look like the team that we thought they were going to be. So I hope you guys join us here for our live stream. i got to go start working on game day eats today. We're going to have steak and shrimp tacos, of course, with Joe Boo wings. Got to have the Joe Boo wings. And um, that's it. That's what we got. Now, okay, hey, I ain't got much time today. But that's what we got for game day eats today. And I hope you guys will join along and be part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. I'll see you guys later.